Hey everyone, I'm Julia from Crocoblog and welcome back to our channel. I hope that you're doing fine today. Recently we talked about the Unfold widget. If you missed this video, you can find the link in the description box below. In today's video, I want to talk about the Read More widget. They're quite similar, however. If you just want to slightly optimize your page, choose the Unfold widget. But there are no limits to your creativity as Crocoblock Read More widget has tons of customization options. You want to hide an image or a map or even a couple of sections at the same time? Stay tuned to know how to add and style up the Read More widget. The first thing that you should do is go to the page or post where you need to add Read More widget and click Edit with Elementor. So let's take a look at how to hide already existing section. I have this form and to make it hidden I will go to the elements panel, type read more and drag the widget. You can locate it either in the same section or in a separate one. In the content block I'll skip sections, we will get back to it a bit later, and go to the setting to start styling the widget. Here you can choose no icon at all, upload your own SVG file or choose one in the library. Also change the button text and show effect. Now let's move on to the next block style. By changing margin and padding settings, you can change the size and the position of the button. Under the normal and hover states, you can set different colors for background, text and icon. Typography setting allows you to change the font family, size, weight, style, etc. Now how do we hide this section under our button? Let's click on the section you want to hide, edit, and go to the advanced block. You'll find the CSS ID field there. Type a unique name of the section, for example, contact form section. After that, go back to the read more widget, click on the sections, and in the section ID field, paste the ID of the section you have set before. Once you've done it, the section turns gray, meaning that now it is hidden. Now let's try something different but very simple, we'll hide a text section. Let's insert some text, quickly style it and add the read more widget. This time I want a button to be super plain. For that I'll choose no icon and change the label text. The next step I'm gonna go to the style block, set the opacity of the background color to zero, change the color of the text and add underline in the typography setting. Using margin and padding settings, you can position it as you like, however, I'm gonna set everything to zero and then go to the next block advanced. To change the alignment, I'll go to the positioning and choose inline for the width. Finally, repeat the steps from the previous part. Set a unique name in the CSS ID field for the section you want to hide and then insert it to the widgets section ID field. Now from simple to something hard and creative. I'm starting with adding a couple of inner sections and adding the heading. Now to hide an image, let's drag an image element from the left sidebar, choose a picture and proceed to the next sections. Again, heading, any element you want and proceed. Lastly, I choose a video, yep, as I said before, this widget has no limits. Now let's add read more widget itself and it's time to be creative. Let's pick an SVG file for the icon, change the animation effect and as you can see we also have this show all section option but stay tuned to know what kind of magic happens when you toggle it or untoggle. In the style block I'm gonna change the icon position, border radius, style it so it matches my page color scheme. Now again, you can change its position using margin in the style or advanced block or go to the advanced positioning with inline. Perfect. Then I'm gonna name all of my three sections and then add the ID to the widget setting. Let's take a look. Now you remember about show all section setting. Let's toggle it and check how it looks like now. It shows all section at once. However, I have one more option for you. To open the sections one by one, but now having a button in each section, we have to do this. First of all, copy the button and paste it in the end of each section. Go back to the first button and leave the ID only of the first section. Then proceed to the rest of the buttons and insert the appropriate section ID. The sections open one by one now and each of them has a button. By the way, do you feel like your product card is overloaded with info? 
hiding an extra content is a piece of cake with a read more widget. Apply it to the section you want to hide, choose an icon, adjust the size of the button, style it as you like. Just be creative and don't forget to name the section properly and paste the ID to the widget settings. I really hope this video was useful for you. Thank you so much for watching and if you have any questions, just leave your comments down below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!